All right, welcome back to My Surrey Journey. This is episode 28, and today we're gonna to be revealing the winner of the giveaways. So um, the last episode, I showed exactly how much money I'd made on Surrey. Go and check out if you're interested in that. At the end of it, we did a giveaway on Twitter and a giveaway on YouTube, so yeah. We'll get straight into drawing the winners of those, but stick around to the end because we've got a new um, series coming to the channel. It's gonna be a load of fun. We're giving away a load of cards, and everyone's gonna be involved in it. So I hope you like that, and um, yeah, I hope everyone had a good new year because Yesterday was a struggle for me, so it's the 2nd of uh, January right now. 1st of January was a write-off. I'm sure many of you are the same, but uh, let's hope we have a really good year, um, both in so rare and real life, and yeah, let's get into it. All the best. All right, so first up, we have the YouTube comment picker. So I've imported the video. I've fil filtered um, duplicate users so you can only comment once, and yeah, I mean, we've used this before. Let's hope it works. Uh, the winner will get whichever one they said, otherwise I guess I'll just probably just give them the choice, but hopefully they've picked. So here's the draw, come on! Joke, um, um, Holmat, jeez, difficult one to say. He just put, great video. Okay, so the winner is Joachim Holtmat. I've probably absolutely, <laughs> absolutely butchered your name, really sorry about that, but he's gonna win. I'm actually gonna give him LaCroix because he didn't say which one he wanted, and like LaCroix is slightly more valuable at the moment because Jovic has COVID, so he's gonna take him. Um, the only thing is you'll have to kind of contact me within after watching the video. I'll give him about a week, let's say, just because, yeah, didn't, didn't have a gallery name. I didn't say to put a gallery name. Um, and, and I don't know how to message someone on Facebook, if, on YouTube, if they've got like private settings on. So yeah, I guess um, just comment below your gallery name or you know reach out to me on Twitter so or Discord, whatever suits you really. But yeah, congratulations on winning. And we'll get straight back into the next draw. Okay, so the next draw is then for Luka Jovic. It is on Twitter, which got an unbelievable response here. So again, thanks to everyone for sharing this out. I mean, it really did well on this one. Um, and yeah, we just go to entries. You can see all the entries here, 336 entries, so you've got your chance. And I guess we just draw. Let's see who won this one. And the winner is Gustavo Barbin. So well done to Gustavo. Um, I'll reach out to you and send you Luka Jovic. Again, we'll give him about a week to reply. If he doesn't reply, I'll probably draw it for someone else because it'll just mean it's a dead account or you know just a giveaway account, which obviously we don't want to be giving away cards to people that just enter giveaways kind of thing. We want like supporters of the channel to win these things and that will be corrected going forward. We've got you know a big plan, so stay tuned for that. But for now, we'll just go through the gallery. All right, so over the Christmas period, there hasn't been much SO5 going on, but I have been rejigging the gallery. I have been making some some quite big movements. Vinicius and Cruz are block, blocking them off, two, two icons of the club. So yeah, let's see what we've been doing. First up, Rio Hatate. So he was part of the Japanese trio that just signed for Celtic. And out of all of them, I thought he's probably got the best like chance of playing in the team every week. Um, a utility player can play in lots of different positions. We've got a load of injuries at the moment. I really see him. I, mean, I really see him starting, um, and then I thought, <sighs> under 20 freeze, he was about £50 at the time, I thought, yeah, probably could make my, some good money on this. Um, I did buy him late, I know a lot of like Celtic fans, or a lot of people on, on, on the game were buying him before the announcement was official, because it was a really well-known um, rumour, let's say, and yeah, I just thought I'll wait until it's actually official. Even from then, he went up even higher, he basically like, doubled to what I paid for him, then he's come down a bit, bit more reasonable, so yeah, that's what I've gone for. Um, Celtic fan, so yeah, don't take that as he's going to be the next best player. Okay, next up, we have Lucas Anderson. So this is a really interesting one. If you have not watched the Drunk Cast hosted by John Nellis on his YouTube channel, go check it out, right? It's about two and a half hours of different YouTube managers, um, or not just YouTube managers, different solo managers coming in, having a chat, having a drink, having a laugh. It is brilliant, right? I had so much fun on it. I jumped in for about the second half of it. Just go and watch it all. I really think you'll love it. And um, we have Lucas Anderson was suggested by Harry Trades, another YouTuber, another great guy to go check out. He's been killing at the moment, got a first place, won't spoil who he got, but he's on an absolute heater. And um, yeah, his suggestion for an undervalued player was Lucas Anderson. I thought for £3, can you go wrong? Apparently he's got a long-term injury. I don't know much about him, but right, let's say he goes, goes to zero, you lose £3. Let's say he goes to £30, you made 10 times your investment. Those are the kind of trades, when you're on a low budget, why wouldn't you do that? And um, also it's just like, 
why would I have it? You know, I'm trying to build up the gallery so that if I do have these rough weeks where, you know, not many cards are playing, maybe I'll have a three pound player that I can slot in. So a no brainer for me. Um, the same, under the same thing, we had Mel and DJ. Um, she came on and suggested Francis and Muzu and Lecton great at the moment. Under 23s, he's got two 60s in the last game. I thought, again, 18 pound, probably worth it, especially for one of those quiet weeks where we don't have many players playing. And Lecton could be playing and you'd be, you know, right in with a good shot. Oh, the next one, Edmund Tapsoba in rare. So this cost me um, 0 0.38, so probably about somewhere between eight and 900 pounds, a really big acquisition. And you might be thinking, right, limited whale, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, you're here for the yellows, you love the yellow cards, right? Of course, but I always like to be prepared for the next situation. I really think limited pro or some version of limited pro, we need limited and rare cards combined, will be coming to the platform this year. I want to be prepared for it. So I've gone out and got a really star tier 1e um, rare player so that I can compete from the jump, you know. I have such good limited cards where if I have the chance to win even better cards or even more money, you're gonna want to be prepared for the next situation and that's what Edmund is. Um, in terms of his value, I got a big trade deal by getting rid of a load of my medium to rubbish rare cards for him. Um, in my head, it was valued around 0 0.308 and he's currently on sale for 0 0.3. When I was making my offer, I thought I could sell him for 0 0.34 if I needed to. Um, so just be aware that like, you know, not every deal is perfect, but I think I'll easily make that up in time if he secures his position. He's got African Cup of Nations utility, so I can see him definitely on an upward trend. And beyond that, he's a really good all-round scorer. He puts up really nice scores. Okay, so the next card we picked up is Shinsuke Nakamura. I sold his rare, so I had to buy his limited to you know continue the Celtic collection going. Um, we go on two common cards who, yeah, just common cards you can pick up for free. So nice to have them in the gallery and Alfred Di Stefano. So on the drunk cast, I had to give who I thought was undervalued as a player. So I picked in rare Ezekiel Palacios because um, I think he's got good utility uh, for Bayer Leverkusen and is, is well below where he should be. And then I said the legend cards. I mean, I just don't know. You, like, look, we don't know when they're going to have utility, but you know it's been so long that I suspect soon they'll have utility. Everyone will want involved in them, and you know, sixty pounds, you get you know a Real Madrid's best striker. Seems like good, good option to me. Obviously, it is a bit risky, probably not for like newcomers, but if you've got a gallery that you know is already competing, yeah, get involved in limiters. Um, so I'm pretty sure that is yeah the next card as well. So Johan Cruyff, you know, basically gets the IX 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 um, striker's best score as well. So. Pretty much the same there. Uh, Jordan Larson. So again, this is part of these um, cheap players. I think I've got him for about £15. He's been dropped from the team, but they've got a new manager at Spartak Moscow. So I was like, he's one of the most expensive players. I'm really thinking he'll get back in the squad. And again, he's just one of those where if you've got a quiet week or a couple of injuries, he'll easily slot in and can do a job. Um, obviously, just remember the Russian Premier League doesn't return for a little while. They're on their winter break. Uh, beyond that, another... Or was that another limited, oh, another common card? <laughs> Wesley Morales. So yeah, he was linked with a move to Brazil. And I thought, do you know what? Again, 14, 15 pounds. Just pick up a few of these players, see if you can make money on them, see if they can become more valuable. For me, Morales was, you know, a failing Premier League player, which means he probably could settle in the Belgium League, in the, yeah, Belgium League quite well. Could probably settle in Brazil quite well. I know he's already there and he's not playing. I don't know why that is. But I just thought, yeah, if he gets a move to Brazil, he could easily be a really high-end top scoring player. That's like... 100 to 200 pounds again so yeah i picked up one of him he got a move in the end to um internationale i think it is um some brazilian team so that's really good but i think they've got another competition before the league starts so it's a long time for one of their games but again you're just sitting on him and hopefully no more supply comes out uh another common card just for you know the common league always fun and yeah i think that's pretty much it the other ones you'd already seen before so yeah um, I hope you're liking the switch up in the gallery. We really need to try and be ready for Limited Pro if it does come. I'm sure there'll be some sort of utility for both leagues. And yeah, you'll see that I've sold a lot of players. Um, so I've got 0 0.29 ETH trying to build up for that that special special card I've been looking for. Um, yeah, really condensed my rares. I thought I shouldn't really need a big range of them anymore. I've still got enough to put out a um, threshold team, but you know I've not been doing too well on it. So I'm debating just selling them all and going for like one massive style player. Um, so we'll see how that goes and basically just condense the galleries and limiteds as well. I always want to stay on top of my gallery, sold off a lot of those and that's how I've got my ETH balance. So yeah. Okay, so I can finally announce the new series coming to the channel for 2022. It is going to be called So Rare Spin to Win. 
Um, I'll go over a very brief explanation of how it works now and a more in-depth explanation in the first episode. That'll be called The Draft. It's coming out very, sh- very soon. Um, what it does is it builds on the previous idea where you know we run this team and we give all the rewards back to anyone that watches the channel or comments on the channel um, you know, to give back to the people that watch and you know, have a bit of fun. The problem with the last version was that you know the last winner and even myself like he was like oh I completely forgot about this and I was like yeah so would I like there's no reason for you to to really be engaged in it when you're only just watching my team and kind of taking the rewards from them um, and especially if you didn't win you have absolutely no reason for it to do well um, so how it's gonna work now is I've got these five potential teams we're gonna draft one player we're gonna draft eight players right from these different pots so you will have two goalkeepers two defenders two midfielders two attackers from there are at the end of every episode we'll spin a wheel and whatever it lands on we will do um for example you have player upgrades player downgrades adding new players head-to-head challenges and the rewards giveaway um you can't just add any players or upgrade any players there is a tier system or a group system so you can see here the different groups correspond to kind of the players that you can add and you can't just go straight in and grab a group one because that'd be no fun in the kind of journey the fun of the game just for an example here, we can spin the wheel and see what would happen. So this is in, this was the same software we'll be using, and in this place we would get add a new player 4G. So the 4G is the group four. So basically we'd have about 0.1 ETH to spend on a player. You guys would comment what player you want. I'd put them onto a Twitter poll at the end of the week or however many days it has the deadline. The highest votes, I'll add that guy to the team. Um, in that case, it would be a brand new player, so we wouldn't need to sell anyone. If it was a player upgrade, we need to sell the current player to upgrade to the new one. Um, and yeah, that would basically be how it goes. Um, so from my side, I hope it gets people watching, I hope it gets people entertained. Um, and then from your side, it's a chance to you know be more engaged with the content and win some rewards at the end of it. So all rewards will be given out. So let me know what you think of the new idea, but um, try and be nice before you've seen it play out. You know, even if you don't think it'll be the best idea, try and wait for an episode or two before you see um, you think it's completely rubbish. Um, but yeah, any ways to improve, let me know. Uh, this isn't the finalized wheel options. I'll try and add some, some new things as well. Um, head-to-head challenges will be fun because that'll be a chance for you guys to get involved or other members of the community, um, and you'll see what happens based on that. Uh, besides that, let me know if you think there's anyone we're missing who you'd like to see in the draft. So. So that team will be running in Global All-Stars for, we say, like a month, two, three months. If it's successful, we'll build on it. If it's not successful, people don't like it, we'll can it. Um, thanks to anyone that's used my affiliate link. You know, that's helped fund ventures like this and give back to the viewers of the channel and people that enjoy the content. Um, besides that, I'd say follow me on Twitter. The reason for that is twofold. Firstly, you'll get to vote on players. You'll get to engage in head-to-head challenges with me on Twitter. Um, so we're spin to win and then besides that i'm running twitter spaces every sunday or maybe we'll move it to every other sunday depending on the success of it and it's just your chance to you know hang out ask questions you know watch some football with you know other people that are playing so rare and have a bit of fun and um, right at the very start is how i got more into so rare you know john and quinny set up you know a similar sort of space i was able to ask all my stupid questions i was able to get you know friends with people that were really more into the game and i was able to pick up tips so i'm hoping it can help someone like that you know, different people come in, jump in, share their thoughts, maybe get some bargains out there. Who knows? If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and yeah, all the best to you. Cheers.